Alley, 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 alley. Snuffle. Okay. I thought I was gonna try to do some sort of Batman thing, but she's probably more of a Marvel girl. Not so much of a fan of the DC universe. Archie, 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 Snuffle. All right. I guess they guys both prefer, you know, uh, your Iron Man's. Uh, and your uh, your protectors of the universe and stuff like that. Yeah, there you go. Ha, I am Grot. Hello, you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super du -du 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 duper fantastic episode of the Walker on the Comp on webcast. Hi, hello, how are you? Let's get cast in. I don't know why that reminded me. That reminded me of that episode of The Simpsons. I... Oh my goodness. Needle. Is that episode of The Simpsons where... Uh, was it Sideshow Bob was holding TV hostage or something like that? Or made sure that all the TV networks had to like get taken off the air. But then Krusty ended up finding... Uh, he ended up finding an old... Uh, an old like public access like place to to broadcast out of and uh gosh what was it was he trying to make like a like something in the battery show stingy in the battery show and he's like oh here's another he's like get a got a visit from former president dwight eisenhower and he picked up oh my gosh look at that where he picks up that picture off of like the wall just to show you how like you know uh dilapidated and run down and how abandoned that that little shack was that he was broadcasting out of there happened to be like you know a president of uh dwight eisenhower and i just always remember that where he grabs it off the wall and he like holds it up to the camera and he's like let's get busy i just remember seeing that as a kid and thinking that for some reason that line was funny the delivery of that line was funny and it stuck with me <laughs> so yeah it was simply the best simply the best better than all the rest hi hello and uh if uh some of you are wondering like oh is he actually is he doing a Shit's creek reference yes i <laughs> am I am absolutely doing a Shit's Creek reference Heidi and I just got done watching the series last night we powered through six seasons in about a month we stayed up till about well, look at that stink snuffle whoa stink snuffles whoa volvo wow Jeez! Whoa! That's some. That is some stinky. That is some stinkiness. He's like. He comes back. He's like more. Give me more. He's trying to. I'm like his dealer or something like that. Hooking him up with the stinkiness. He's like you're taking too much stinkiness. You gotta cut back. I'm like I tell you, I know what I can handle. I know much stinkiness I can take. Just give it to me. I can pay. I got the money. <laughs> but Heidi and I were up until we watched. We watched the final few episodes of the season. We were up until like two thirty last night. Not, not saying like, oh, let's do this. It just happened to happen. Just the amount that we were going through and how good of a show it was and how much we wanted to actually catch it and uh yeah it's it was an amazing it was an amazing experience hello hello and then we watched like the 
the documentary thing on uh, on Netflix that after like the making of the final season kind of thing. Gotta say, I mean, like without like not this is non hyperbolic kind of thing may actually be one of the best shows that have that like one of the best shows I've ever seen. Bye bye. Bye bye. But yeah, just how funny and how well crafted the characters are and how well written the show was, how touching and how moving and just the storylines and how like the character development and how you start off the show kind of looking at the show as if like, oh, well, it's just, you know, just like a well-made yet albeit kind of formulaic uh, experience with kind of some cookie cutter character kind of things and and they're like cliche kind of cliched tropes and then as the show goes on throughout the seasons it becomes more and more apparent how layered and how complex and how uh not i'm not gonna sit there oh bucking conventions and everything but how pleasantly surprised you are that they don't necessarily go always along with like your your uh I guess your some of your more established kind of I don't know lines of storytelling or certain like established tropes. It's uh, it was a it's a beautiful show, it really is. I guess what I mean by that is it's almost kind of like again it's like you start off like the first couple seasons kind of thinking oh there's going to be this kind of formulaic approach and it's just going to be kind of like this this stuck in time high. And, ooh, ooh, I got a snuffle at you as Drew gets mad this formula kind of stuck in time kind of thing where it's oh these these same characters are going to be in the same experiences and it's just going to be the way that just like a sit like sitcoms just do that that's like sitcoms are just like here are these people and here there are these characters and this is just who they are and then basically uh we're going to just put them in just a, a myriad of just kind of interesting and wacky scenarios and and that's entertaining and that's great that's fine what this show does is it takes that but then it's such, it's so slowly and almost imperceptibly evolves each one of those characters along the, the, the course of that six season arc. And it does, it lends itself to these like really powerful uh, moments of, of just growth and realization and real moments. And it's like, like I said, one of the best things that I've ever seen. Heidi and I both. I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, like a bunch of like very, very emotional. Uh, like in a good way, like a lot of, lot of like really like oh my gosh, like ha like happy crying moments on that show. It's stupid. Like I've never experienced something like that in a show. And yeah, so definitely a testament to the to the folks that made that. I, this is. <laughs> I, I uh I always feel more I feel comfortable talking about a show. Hi, I don't wanna you kinda look like you might be at a little bit weird weird spot. Hi sugar pie. Hey sugar pie. Let me keep my phone back. It's okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Where are you? I feel more comfortable talking about television shows after I've seen all of them. Because sometimes people aren't trying to troll. But they'll spoil things. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till you get to this. Like, and then they like reveal, they spill the beans on like an important plot point, but they're just excited. <laughs> it's, oh, have you gotten to this really like important kind of thing? And you're like, uh, no, I haven't. I didn't know that that was going to be a thing that's really important to the development of the show and the certain character arcs. Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're excited. <laughs> I'm glad that you're excited for my discovery that you just kind of ruined. <laughs> so. A lot of times I'll wait until I get done with certain things before I talk about them here um, on these on these platforms. Soupy. Keep doing it. Come on. It's soupy. Where are the leaves? Where are the leaves? Prince of no leaves. <laughs>
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm definitely I can't I cannot recommend it. I cannot recommend that show enough. If you haven't seen it and you enjoy well-written, well-crafted comedy and surprisingly like tender, heartwarming, uplifting kind of experiences, uh and unexpectedly very powerful emotional storylines um then give that one it's like that is it's like a must watch it is like yeah it's it's so good you guys watch because there's boomer and then there's potato head and then ezzy choo choo they are all hello <laughs> they are all watching the cow show they're having a really good time watching the cow show and the cows are walking through oh and there's there's calves they also have calves oh my gosh there's baby cows oh do you want to hug those baby cows yeah you know, hug the babies. Give them smooches. Yeah. I mean, blech. yuck. Yeah, oh, gross. Yours, you stink. You smelly kitty. You smelly kitty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No one likes you. No one likes you. Gross. Okay, Ezzy, you are really kind of getting excited. You are really, really getting excited for the cow show. Oh my gosh, if he, what he wouldn't give just to basically have the fence down and just to get, just, he's like, just five minutes. That's all I'd want. Just five minutes. Just, just, ah, 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 ah. it would be, oh, pandemonium. Woo. As he. Ezzy, choo choo. My goodness. Gotta get yourself under control, you know? Hello, 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 hello. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. Z, 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 Z. Z, 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 Z. Z, 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 Z. Z, 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 Z. And then Mika do snuffle in your pants. Hey. Hi. <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty girl. Who's a pretty girl? You are such a pretty girl. Chickens! Check! Chickens! 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 La la la, lemmers! La 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 la! La 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 la! Hello! Hi! Hi! Oh, hello! Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, big guy. What a good boy. Oh. Oh, that's nice. He's got a deer leg down there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, look at Oh, oh big old tough guy. Oh, tough guy. Oh, boy. Whoa. Whoa, tough guy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you keep at it, bud. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com.
dot com. For more information, I'll see you folks later. All right. Bye-bye.